It's more than a passado blade. I want a passion dough blade. It's passionate like Argentine tango, quick like flamenco, but with modern and contemporary movement. There's so much technique in it, and the lips are crazy. Oh, oh my God. The pasta dough blade is very, very challenging. You have your work cut out for you, man. Guys, let's be the Paso for the with Yo! Yo! Please put your hands together for the wonderful Paul. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Off you go, thank you. Let's, uh, there's Paul and his 50 shades of So You Think You Can Dance outfit. Uh, Nigel, what did you think? Um, well, Megs, you know I love you. You know that I'm really proud of you and how far you've gotten in this competition. If I'm honest, it's further than I thought and deservedly so, I have to say very quickly because I think you've been brilliant. However, on this occasion, I think, you know, it was unlucky in this situation that you pulled out a Paso Doble out of the hat this week and getting Jean-Marc, who is such a wonderful Paso choreographer, because I think it exposed your lack of formal training a little bit. I think you gave it everything. You gave it 100%, which is all anyone can ask of you. But certainly the technique wasn't really there for me tonight. Uh, it's just the little jumps, everything else. You've got to keep the feet under the body. You know, as, as Jean-Marc said, it's based on the flamenco. Uh, I, I just thought that it wasn't strong enough this evening. I'm sorry to say that, uh, but I'm so proud of where you are right now. Okay. Congratulations. Paula? Um, I, I, agree with, I agree with Nigel. Um, I will say this, you know, you come out week after week with intensity and fire in you that, that is unparalleled, and that's so appreciative. That's half the battle. And I think that what Nigel said, that it, it is true that this is the one area where it, it did expose you. And um, Meg, it, perhaps like, the best bit I can give you of criticism is to really work on your core strength. If you work on your core strength, your posturing will be so much more elongated and powerful, and your partner will be able to, to work with you in, in a much smoother way that's more pleasing to the eye, you will approach your dancing with confidence that y you'll see. Just You have to really work on that core strength. Your shoulders go up to your ears and point it your toes. Right. It, 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 tightens it tightens up and your arms tighten up. You have to really elongate pointing your toes and, um, and get planted in the ground there, yeah. plant on the floor. You can't just do it with a stank face either. Okay. okay, Jason? 
Uh, yeah, so I, I agree. The the, the Paso Doble, you know, is is it's an upbeat dance, you know, Portuguese bullfight. It's like it brings this intensity out of a, out of out of the dancer, right? But like your intensity turned into tension in, in your mouth, and it and it stayed there the entire time, and it kind of just pulls us away from the total performance. If you if the intensity that you should have in mind for a performance like this is like Laura Croft, it's, you're still feminine but powerful at the same time. But just so you know, you are still one of my favorite dancers. Aww. He's still on the bittersweet thing. It's like good news and bad news. Should we do some results? Let's do it. Uh, we're still looking for the two street dancers who hold the lowest at... Uh... That was not even with a mic. I hope you voted! Uh, we pulled the lowest after America voted last week. I hope you did, Meg. You are one of our bottom two street dancers, and you are in danger of going home. But we will announce the results at the end of the show, and like Nigel said, 100% is what you gave that. And if you think that Meg's deserves to make it through this week and make it through to next week, then she still needs your vote. Super vote, go online at fox.com slash dance or by using the Fox Now app or just text the first name to 21523. I don't have to ask you, do I? But please put your hands together for Meg's. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.